Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, you know don't you, you know. Right, don't want to make this about Eddie but I feel like I've got to say something about this. Why is Eddie Hearn making it about him? Why? Why? Go and look on YouTube, how many interviews do you see with Eddie's fighters compared to him? You don't see many do you? What about <laughs> the Eddie Hearn action figure? What about the song about Eddie Hearn? It's awful, isn't it? <laughs> it's, where, where are we heading here with this? What about Eddie Hearn selling matchroom t-shirts and stuff like that? Look, there's no wrong with that, but he's making it about him and not his fighters. It's... It's becoming a bit of a joke now, isn't it? Don't let the fighter be bigger than the promoter, but the promoter is running amok and nobody's saying a word, are they? Nobody dare say anything. Have you any idea how many trainers and managers just want to scutch him, but they daren't say a word? How many people do I know who had a phone call off Eddie Earns' matchmaker and said, no, we're not interested in that fight, not for that money. Mick Wales only one, isn't he? Mick Whale knocked it back. Jordan Gill fight for Josh Whale. So now we want to fight over 12 rounds, not 10. Knocked it back. So they're the sort of people I want to I want to be around. People that are willing to say, you know, that's not right, that. We're not our slickers, we're going to do it our own way. But he is running a mock. And nobody's doing a word, are they? Nobody's doing a word. All, all we're seeing is him on podcast, the Eddie Earn podcast. He's got a book out as well. I mean, books and songs and action figures and, you know, you've got to start making it about the fighters, Eddie. Let's see some of your fighters get a chance, get themselves on this platform, not just you. It isn't about you. All right, so peace out.